This game of Big Deck is brought to you today by Humility. Humility, pretty much. Welcome to a game of 1v1 Big Deck featuring Rob versus Tristan. Tristan starts a game with an opening hand of Frost Titan, Conquering Manticore, Memory Plunder, Celestial Flare, War of Omens, Duplicant, and Degree of Pain. Rob starts with a hand of Memory Jar, Coalition Relic, Ores Dust, Acidic Slime, Demir Cut Purse, Bogard and Hellkite, and Molder Slug. Tristan starts by playing Memory Plunder as a land. Rob plays Demir Cut Purse as a land. Tristan plays Phyrexian Rebirth as his land and casts War of Omens, drawing a card. Rob plays Martial Coup as a land. Tristan plays Conquering Manticore as land. Rob plays Mortar Slug as a land and casts Coalition Relic. Tristan plays Time Twister as a land. Rob charges Coalition Relic at the end of Tristan's turn. Rob adds green to his mana pool during his main phase and plays Manic Vandal as a land. Rob casts Acidic Slime, blowing up Tristan's Memory Plunder land. Tristan plays City of Solitude as a land and casts unexpected results. Tristan shuffles and reveals Sim Collector off the top of the library and chooses to play the card as a creature, putting it onto the battlefield. Rob reveals his hand and the collector exiles Rob's Always Dust. Rob charges Relic at the end of Tristan's turn. Rob adds blue and casts Prognostic Sphinx. Rob plays Sleeper's Robe as a land. Tristan begrudgingly plays Decree of Pain as a land and casts Sever the Bloodline targeting the Sphinx. Rob discards Corsali Pride Mage to give the Sphinx Hexproof, tapping it. Rob charges Relic and adds blue during his main phase. Rob casts Memory Jar and attacks for 3 with the Sphinx. Rob scries 3. Tristan plays Soul of the Harvest as a land and casts Duplicant in an attempt to deal with the Sphinx, but Rob discards its Hellkite to once again give the Sphinx Hexproof and tap it. Rob charges his Relic. Rob adds green to his mana pool and then casts Aura Shards. Rob then cracks the Memory Jar, drawing both himself and Tristan new grips. Rob plays Crushing Vines as a land and then attacks with a seemingly unstoppable prognostic sphinx. Rob scries 3. Rob casts Rumbling Slum, blowing up Tristan's duplicate with the Aura Shards effect. Rob and Tristan both discard their hands at the end step. Tristan finally casts his second blue source of Augur of Bolas and casts Frost Titan, tapping down prognostic sphinx. Rob charges Coalition Relic. Rumbling Slum deals 1 damage to both players during Rob's upkeep. Rob adds green mana and casts Restock, returning both Shrewdred, Whispering Warrant, and Disciple of Bolas to Rob's hand. Rob casts Disciple of Bolas, sacrificing Rumbling Slum to gain 5 life and draw 5 cards. Tristan plays Celestial Flare as a land and casts Sun Titan, returning Sin Collector to the battlefield. Rob reveals his hand and Tristan exiles Terra to keep his Titans alive. Tristan attacks Rob with Frost Titan, tapping down Sphinx, but Rob discards Smash to Smithereens to give the Sphinx Hexproof. Rob blocks the Titan with Disciple of Bolas. Rob plays Crystal Ball as a land and casts Lingering Souls, giving him two 1 1 spirit tokens of flying. Tristan attacks Rob with his two Titans in Sin Collector. Frost Titan keeps the Sphinx tap down and Sun Titan returns Fire Justice to the battlefield as a land. Rob blocks both of the Titans with his spirits and then takes two damage from Sin Collector. Tristan plays Reaper of the Wilds as a land and then casts Miloku, the Clouded Mirror. Rob repulses Tristan's Frost Titan at the end of Tristan's turn, paying 2 extra mana to do so, and bouncing the Titan back to Tristan's hand and drawing Rob a card. Rob casts Real Dredge and flashes back Lingering Souls. At the end of Rob's turn, Tristan returns Time Twister to his hand and makes a 1 1 illusion of Miloku's ability. Tristan sacrifices War of Omens at the beginning of his upkeep due to Shield Dread's ability. Tristan attacks with Miloku, Sun Titan, and the Illusion token. Sun Titan returns War of Omens, drawing Tristan a card. Rob blocks Sun Titan and Miloku each with a Spirit token. Rob takes 1 damage from the Illusion. Tristan plays Frost Titan as a land to keep it safe, and then casts Time Twister in order to neutralize Shield Dread's effect. Tristan casts Albolic Vision, putting one card into his hand and putting cards back onto the tops of libraries. At the end of Tristan's turn, Rob discards Elish Norn, Grand Cenobite, to Prognostic Sphinx. Not wanting Rob to Shield Dread Elish Norn into play during Rob's upkeep, Tristan gons Shield Dread, returning it to Rob's hand. Rob charges Relic and adds white to his mana pool during his main phase. Rob plays Luta Il Kor as a land and casts Unburial Rites, returning Elish Norn to the battlefield, immediately killing the Illusion token and Sin Collector. Rob then casts Lightning Helix to finish off the weakened Meloku. In response, Tristan returns Phyrexian Rebirth to his hand, using Meloku's ability. Rob gains 3 life from the Helix. Rob attacks Tristan for 5 with the Prognostic Sphinx. 
Tristan attacks Rob of Sun Titan, bringing back Sim Collector. In response to Sim Collector's effect resolving, Rob casts Esper Charm, drawing him two cards. Sim Collector's ability resolves, and Tristan exiles Dread Return from Rob's hand. Elish Norn blocks Sun Titan, killing it. Tristan casts Phyrexian Rebirth, finally killing the Prognostic Sphinx. Tristan makes a 3-3 artifact horror. Tristan casts Condor and draws a card. Tristan plays Molten Disaster as a land. Rob casts Garuk, Wild Speaker, making a beast and blowing up Tristan's horror token with aura shards. Rob casts Totem Guide Heart Beast, finding control magic and putting it into his hand. Tristan casts Searing Spear at the end of Rob's turn, killing Rob's beast. Tristan casts Rakdos as return for 5, discarding all the cards into Rob's hand and killing Garuk. Rob attacks Tristan with his antelope, dealing Tristan 2 damage. Rob casts Meadow Knight the Ageless. At the end of Rob's turn, Tristan casts Rakdos Charm, exiling the cards in Rob's graveyard. Tristan plays Avon Rift Watcher as a land and casts Merciless Eviction, choosing to exile all creatures. Tristan then casts Inferno Titan, dealing Rob 3 damage when it enters the battlefield. Rob casts a powerhouse card in the form of Humility, putting an end to the threat of Inferno Titan. Tristan attacks for 1 damage and casts a non hasty demigod of revenge. Rob draws and passes. Tristan attacks for 2 and passes. Rob casts Angel of Serenity. Tristan casts Explore, drawing a card. Tristan casts Chain as Edict, targeting Rob, who sacrifices Angel of Serenity. Tristan attacks Rob for 2 with both of his creatures. Rob passes the turn. Tristan attacks Rob for 2 again and passes. With Crochet and Grip in hand, Rob casts Bring of the Green Dawn in hopes of gripping humility at the end of Tristan's turn. Tristan flashes back Chain as Edict, targeting Rob. Rob sacrifices Bringer of the Green Dawn. Tristan attacks Rob for two of his 1-1 creatures. Tristan plays Neverblast Worm as a land and passes. Rob casts Godsire. Tristan casts Maelstrom Wanderer and cascades into Comet Storm for the first cascade and Bituminous Blast the second cascade. Tristan then cascades into Mind Shatter of the Blast cascade. Bituminous Blast targets and kills Godsire. Tristan then attacks with Inferno Titan and Demigod of Revenge for two damage. Rob passes the turn. Tristan attacks for 3 of Infernal Titan, Demigod, and Maelstrom Wanderer. Rob casts Sprouting Thrynex. Tristan casts Violent Ultimatum with the hopes of blowing up the dreaded Humility, but Rob casts Dismiss, countering the Ultimatum and drawing Rob a card. Tristan attacks the same pattern again and Rob refuses to block. To ensure he has a blocker for Thrynex, Tristan plays Siege Skang Commander and Lightning Angel, another non-hasty creature. At the end of Tristan's turn, Rob finally casts Crochet Grip, blowing up Humility. Rob charges his relic for the last time and adds red to his mana pool during his main phase. Rob then casts Titanic Ultimatum, making his Thranax lethal and winning Rob the game. Twelve mana. Merciless Eviction, exile all creatures. Turn to Titan you. <laughs> oh, if there were ever a time to get Master. enchantment removal, and that would be it. You can have a uphill climb here, buddy.